Hi there and happy Tuesday. I'm doing something a little different this time. Um, I've been out and I'm in my car. Um, I guess I'm coming down with a cold or something. I've got a very sore throat. So um, I'm not going to be doing much. I had to go do an errand. So when I was out, guess what? I stopped and got some sweet tea. That's right, with a lemon. Hopefully it'll make my throat feel better. Oh, Miss Maggie's in the back here. She's being quiet. When we go in the house, we're going to take a nap. I just want to know what everybody's doing today on Tea Tuesday. <clears throat> I'm sitting in my backyard. You can see the trees. We live We live in the woods. Um, what everybody's drinking for tea. Um, I'll probably have some hot tea and lemon when I get up from my nap. I just, I feel like I need to lay down and rest. And, um, it was 67 degrees here today in Maine when I went uptown. Can you believe that? I had to take a drink. As you can see behind me, the sun's out beautifully. Um, I did work on some pocket letters and I sent them out and I made my first tassel. Um, Maybe I can insert the pocket letter at the end of this video. I, <coughs> excuse me, I am still don't have the tassels down how to hook the little like charm on. I just tied it. So give me your opinion. What am I doing wrong? What do I need to do wrong? Oh, you're going to give it to me, Maggie. I have the round rings but I did not know how to insert them in. Um, I had wrapped the ribbon that I used around cardboard and then I just inserted another one and just pulled it. Um, you can see when I'll insert a picture of a few pocket letters. It's okay, Maggie. I have snacks in the car for Maggie right here. It's beef flavored wraps made with real beef. Oh, Miss Maggie, she gets nothing but the best. Right, Miss Mag? Um, so I did two pocket letters, and if I feel better tonight, I'll make a couple more. It all depends how I feel. Um, I did get two and I mailed them out. I'm not gonna say who they're going to because they're a surprise. They don't know they're getting them. Um, I would like to do Tassel Tuesday, but until I can really figure out how to make a tassel correctly, I guess I could just make one and you guys could, you know, be nice and pick me apart. Um, you could critique it for me. But what I did is I took a piece of cardboard about that, about that long and about that wide and I wrapped it 10 times around. <clears throat> and then I put a string kind of in the middle and I tied it and then I cut the bottom off and took it off the cardboard and then at the top I made another you know looks like that and then I tied it and then I hung a charm off I didn't know what I was doing um oh well I tried right that's all that matters um I haven't set the world on fire today. I do, like I said, I do need to get some things going. I may make, excuse me, I may make some chili. I did get part of a result back from the heart monitor. Um, my heart is going real slow, my heart rate. And they say that that can make you extremely tired. And that's why I'm so tired too. But we shall know. Excuse me. I don't mean to do this. But it's just part of whatever's going on with me. And um, I really wanted to get out and get things done. But it doesn't look like it. So tell me what are you crafting? What are you canning? I could can and pickle or dehydrate some green peppers and jalapeno peppers and banana peppers. I still have so many peppers. It's okay, Meg. My dad said, please don't bring any more down because 
Nobody wants them. They're all tired of peppers. My freeze is filled with peppers. I may just put out on the radio station and fill a five gallon bucket and put a price out there and see if they'll go. I'm sure they will. Um, I've got beautiful, beautiful peppers. And in the garden, we still need to clean it up. It's hard because Mr. Ray's working. Oh, let me tell you, did we have some excitement on Sunday? Ray was sitting on the couch and he says to me, something's itching really bad on the side of my leg. And I said, well, let me see. I'm sitting across the room. So he came over and I said, oh my gosh, that's a tick bite. And it had a bullseye about, oh, about the end of a, about the end of the pencil or like the end of the straw. It wasn't real big. It hadn't got real big yet. So it was really red, red, red. And it had the black spot where the tick had embedded. So I told him to go get some Vaseline. So he got some Vaseline. And I said, hopefully that will back it out. So we waited a little bit. Didn't do too much. So then got some surgical gloves on and some tweezes, tweezes. And I went in there and grabbed and dug around a little bit. Ray was brave and I got a hold of it and I pulled that baby and I think I got at least a head and maybe a leg or two. I zip locked it. We called the our doctor and because we live so far in the woods, we have to travel everywhere. We have to travel an hour for the city and hospital and everything. So we called and it took 20 minutes for her to call us back. It's okay. We're going to get out and you can go play. And um, she called and I told her exactly what was wrong. He, Ray asked me to talk with her. So um, I told her about he got a tick bite and how I took it out. And she said, well, he's a diabetic. And I said, yes, he is. She said, well, I'm really concerned about it. Infection. We need to start antibiotic real soon. So, I said, okay, so, it's quarter till nine at night, where you, you know, I don't live in a city, I live in a, a town that has no street lights, um, one store, it's a little tiny gas station, it does everything, a one pump, you get pizza and sandwiches and you can get gas, I mean, that's the extent of where I live, so, she said, well, I can call it into the pharmacy on for, oh, this was, yeah, this was Saturday night. I'm, I got confused. Saturday night. You can pick it up Sunday. So Ray said, well, okay. She said, I'd really like for you to go to the emergency room, but all urgent care is closed. St. Mary's Hospital is closed, the ER, and all that is left is CMMC. And she said, and they are overloaded, and it would take six to eight hours to get in. She said, and by that time, you're, you're looking at morning. So she said, what I want you to do <coughs> is take a small piece of bread and a little bit of milk and a little bit of baking soda. Wash the area really well. Put that on the area you got the tick. Wrap it for an hour. So Ray had worked almost a 12 hour shift and he was tired. So he went to bed and I got him up in an hour and we unwrapped it. She said, because that bread works like a sponge and it would draw it out. Yeah, didn't draw much of anything. Still could see a black spot, but she said it could be, um, the black spot could be a scab. Oh, Lord. So, she said, after you do that, wash the area really well. Put triple A antibiotic, um, triple A ointment on it, and then get your prescription in the morning. So, that's what we've done. So, Ray's been washing it real gently with um, some soap and water. Putting triple A 
I haven't seen it today because I was sleeping when he left for work. He left very early. And I told him it looked like it was getting a little bit of yellow. And I thought that looked like infection maybe. Um, that if it is tonight, it doesn't look good. We're going to have to call the, the doctors in the morning and he's going to have to be seen. I think he should be seen anyways because it was a bullseye. He did get bat. Rather, rather it was Lyme or not, I still think it should be checked. So let me all leave a comment down below and tell me your experience if you ever got bit by a tick or what you think of the whole situation. I'm going to get off here. I can't believe I blabbed for almost 11 minutes. And Miss Maggie Mae's getting a little restless back there. I don't know if I can bring you down. You can see her or not. Probably if I go like this. There's Miss Maggie Mae. Can you say hi to everybody? Yeah. That's Miss Maggie. Miss Maggie Moo Moo. See, good girl. She's got a pillow. See her pillow? There isn't anything that dog doesn't have to want for. So anyways, oops, I'm sorry. I had my finger in the wrong spot because they took it off the holder. Um, leave a thumbs up. And on this Tea Tuesday, I'd like to thank Kathy's Favorite Things and Life with Patty. Um, hashtag lowercase um, Tea Tuesday. We'd love to have you. You can do cold tea hot tea. It can be formal or informal. And I'll put the hashtag down below. So everybody have a great tea Tuesday. I love you. And I will see you tomorrow. If I could talk, I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye now. Maggie, you going to tell him bye? Maggie, Maggie Moose says bye too.